Hey, gorgeous. It is a beautiful night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Not as beautiful as last night when the uh, Milky Way was spread out from one end of the sky to the next, spilling out across the whole sky. And I guess that's Jupiter coming up over the mountain at midnight last night. It was gorgeous, but it's been a fine evening. I'm up here watching the uh, the lightning show to the south. I guess there is some big ass thunderstorm uh, in Pennsylvania. Looks like Pennsylvania was getting hammered tonight, and we're just watching, I guess, the northern edge of that cloud on land. I'm up here in the glamping tent since the tiny house and the USS Maggie May are both rented out. And so what I'm torturing myself with tonight, other than, of course, thinking about you, but what was it that somebody, I met this friend for lunch yesterday and they're in kind of the same situation I am with an unrequited love going on and so we were kind of commiserating and my friend said isn't love being in love annoying <laughs> yes and being in love is quite annoying you know it's kind of like being in love is, is, is kind of like jock itch, I guess. Maybe women, maybe you don't know what jock itch feels like, but I don't know. Maybe it's like a minor yeast infection for for girls. You, you know, it's just kind of this, this, this itch. And that's always kind of there in the background, and you, and you try so hard not to scratch it. And you finally reach down there and uh for about two seconds you get some comfort and then uh you try to go about your fucking day and do other things and it's just kind of i don't know kind of like this sciatica nerve in my leg right now just kind of this yeah just as my friend was saying it's just fucking annoying being in love when you can't be with the person you love or you in some cases choose not to be with the person you love but you know I guess that's the same thing uh, a choice is always a limitation uh, one of these analyzing things into a no so anyway while I'm up here in this tent alone with this annoyance, this annoying uh, being in love. So what I'm listening to is, I don't know if you, if you can hear this popping in the background, this, this young couple, they came up from Virginia and they're, they're renting the, the Sancho Sheraton tiny house. And so what they've done is they've, they're down there around the campfire. They have built this beautiful fire. You know, they went out of the garden and they and and they picked their salad and they made this nice salad and uh, they got some broccoli and some of those climbing pole beans. The beans are now coming in and made this cute little romantic dinner in the uh in the outside kitchen and now it's midnight and they've and they're sitting around the fire and you can uh hear the fire popping and you'll know, hear them talking whenever young lovers talk about at midnight and then you know they'll be talking and and then you there's this long silence you know, 15 to 30 seconds, and you know they're down there uh, with their tongues in each other's mouths. I mean, this is 
they can probably actually hear me talk. I mean, they can't hear what I'm saying. I'm talking like, I'm, I'm talking like 80 feet from where I'm lying. Uh, I, I've got these two young lovers at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, sitting around the fire ring being, you know, in love with the fire popping, watching the lightning show here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And, uh, and then they're going to go in the fucking tiny house and I'm sure they're going to do whatever young lovers do in that tiny house. Oh, God. So here I am. Listening to some other man with some other woman uh, doing exactly what I want to be doing with you at Bugs in a Jar Farm. You, you, you know, the, uh, the, the sick, twisted irony of unrequited love is just like the universe. Just just has to fucking rub this in my face, darling. You, you know, that's supposed to be me and you down there. It's supposed to be me and you sitting around that fire. It's supposed to be me and you out there uh, gathering our dinner out of that fucking garden that I built. It's supposed to be me and you watching this beautiful lightning show or, or watching the Milky Way. But no, it's these kids. And then they're going to be here two nights. And then I have another couple coming in. Renting the fucking tiny house. Wish I'd never built the fucking thing. Ah, that it. At least the uh, guy in the Maggie May is leaving two days early. So, uh... I don't have to sit up here tomorrow night listening to these little lovebirds. I can uh, go hide out in the USS Maggie May and turn on a fucking fan and drown out the noise of these, of these lovers enjoying bugs in a jar farm while the woman I love uh, makes up her mind when she's ready to come join me. Yep. Ain't being in love annoying. Ah, oh, Jesus, darling. What the fuck? So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing in your little velvet rutted comfort trap tonight, just know I'm up here at Bugs in a Jar Farm keeping the candle in the window. For the light of my life. I love you. Buenas noches, darling. There's that frog. That lone frog. Still out there ribboning, ribboning, ribboning. Waiting for his dulcinea to come join him at Frogs in a Jar. Good luck, brother. Bye, darling.